martini. There's nothing like a good martini. But the martini is what's held gin back. The thing is, rotten vermouth sitting in everybody's well for the last six or seven years is what people tend to associate with martinis now because vermouth is a wine product. We know that. It goes bad. It doesn't stay. It stays really fresh, maybe a day or two. After that, it's still good, but it's, it's on a downward decline. So what happens is people walk around and go like, oh, I don't like vermouth. No, what the thing is, you don't like rotten vermouth. Because you go to a Friday's, trust me, I worked in chain restaurants for seven years bartending. I don't think I ever changed a bottle of martini in Rossi once. It was just sitting there in my well. And this was back in the day before nobody knew. So the thing is, when somebody would order a martini, really what they just wanted was just cold gin or cold vodka. And I feel like it's a damn shame because that drink is like held gin back and was, I think, what kept it back from growing and getting as big as like rye whiskey and bourbon and everything is today. Actually, I think you're just talking about vermouth. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> And that just means you're not drinking enough martinis. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. Just going back. And then another thing about the martini, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna piss off a lot of my Jew friends. <laughs> we could talk about this for an hour, by the way. Is that, it's not as good as a Manhattan. It's not as good as the old fashioned. She had a martini, not even good as a Negroni. The ne not the ne here, let me say this. The Negroni is the king of gin cocktails, and that's a fucking fact. <laughs>